You know, I really like tea. Allow me to spin you a tale. Back in the day, before I got into the scene, whenever you type Maximum Doom into YouTube, the first result you would typically get was not any of these videos, but going down, going down further, this was the first video you would find. And this is the video with the most views on YouTube that's Maximum Doom related. The most broken map in Maximum Doom ever. Let's take a look at it, shall we? God, I love the deathmatch packs because they all have the same maps. What the fuck is going on here? Holy... What the fuck? Now, people have wondered pretty much ever since this map went up, which stinking map is this and how can you play it? Well, the answer has finally been solved. It is DHT, or I'm sorry, DTH2 PCOM.WAD, a 30 map deathmatch WAD from Maximum Doom 2 folder. So, and this particular map happens to be Map 09. So, I'm going to be loading it up today in GZ Doom, and we're going to be taking a look at it. So, um, here you go. Here's the same exact map that Tarnsman himself was playing in the video. So, something you might notice right away is it doesn't quite look the same. You can definitely see the little uh, issues and errors right there. Um, but something you are going to see here in a moment is that this map does not look the same. Like, it still has a lot of the issues where it just, where it just pops in and pops out with the textures. Uh, but that crazy mirroring effect you saw in his video, that's not going to happen in this one. Uh, again, I'm using this on GZ Doom. I have no idea what uh, source engine he was using, what source port he was using to run to. But I can certainly tell you, the same error does not exist, or I'm sorry, the same effect is not present in GZ Doom. And I have been told by others, it's not present in Crispy Doom as well. So I would have to ask Tarzman himself what source engine he was playing on. But you can see right here, Here's missing textures, pop-ins, this wall pops in here. It's crazy. The map the map has problems. See the ceiling right here, where those stairs were. There's over there where you, you get your shotgun. Now, here's the crazy part. Look up here. Look at these missing textures. So, when Tarnsman went here, there was a little hallway that opened up to a room. And then right over here, there was another hallway that went down this way. And uh, if you're wondering who's shooting at us, that would be our little... We're going to save this to Big Bad Room. That would be our little cyber demon friend, who if we try to run through here, you'll see he pops in to say hello. So that's weird, right? So, but anyway, there's also this area, which um, I cannot figure out how to access. Personally, let's see if we can get through here. All right, so we got around him. So there is a little secret right here with a plasma gun in it. So I'm going to just help myself momentarily. Let's see if we can take this big guy out for a second so that we can continue with our little tour. All right, but anyway, um, you can see this part of the map is fully functional, but I am going to get to the really crazy part where Tarnsman was at for a second here. Again, the mirroring effect isn't quite that bad, but you can see where the map just becomes completely broken and inaccessible. So, even, uh, okay, so he's dead. So I always forget how easy cyber demons are. Okay, so if you're coming at it from this angle instead of the other one, you can see the area where Tarnsman was having issues. And again, no crazy mirroring effect, but you can see the textures are just all over the place. Right down here, right? Here's these stairs. Here's this room. Okay, there's a BFG over here that we can't access. So, and see, we, we get off of these stairs over here into this open area where we just kind of wander about for a moment. So we're back down here. Now here's this lovely fellow, right? All right, so there's the chain gunner. He's down. And here, look, here's the exit, right? Right here. You can see the red line. This is the exit wall that you press on, but you get over here, you just go. At this part of the map, it's just entirely dysfunctional. It just messes itself up. We're in black space. I think we're pretty much outside. Yeah, and now, see, we've just managed to get outside the map, kind of like how Tarzman was in his bit. 
So, without any real clear way on how to get back in here. And here's lava. Here's the BFG. Here's the little door. So, yeah, we're just totally outside the map at this point. Oh, here's a Megasphere. Didn't even know that was there. So, yeah. You can see, even though it's not quite as broken as in Tarnsman's video, you can see this map is just completely broken. Which is funny, because it starts off... You know, looks like a fine functional map and it works until you get to this part and you see this part is just completely broken. You can look here at the lines and just see just everywhere, right? You back up enough, this lower part of the map, it works. Way up here, everywhere. So here's the question. What caused this? Well, I have also discovered the answer to that. This map is a conversion from Doom 1 to Doom 2. And somewhere along the converting process, the converter either crashed or had some sort of weird error or just did something. Because part of this map works fine, but part of it is just totally, totally broken. But if you were to look up the original Doom 1 map that this is based on, you will find a perfectly, fully functional, working as intended map. And I'm also going to bring you that map today. So this wad is called Lava Pit. And how I found that out is I cross-examined dth2pcom.wad with the doom maximum doom reference file and i found the original lava pit on wadarchive.com so we're going to so if you open up the text file you'll see it's pretty basic this is by eric westcott uh it's e1m1 it's intended for deathmatch and single player so pretty 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 cool now, this is obviously a deathmatch level just because it's too short. You can probably see in there. It's just very, very short. Um, okay, I started that with Doom 2, so that gave me the wrong thing. You'll see this map is pretty short for single player, so it's obviously would be designed purely for a, um, for a deathmatch thing. But okay, so you can see this is the same level, right? And we're going to go back into where we were. But uh, you'll see here... This is a fully working version. So you got the same two imps. You got the Baron. That whole big deal. You got the chain gun right there. And here's the thing. This, they converted several Doom 1 maps. All right, so see, you can see this hallway. We can already see the Cyber Demon right here. Right? And you can see down that area. And you might notice that there's no more, there's no more texture issues. Right, you, you can see where the hallway goes. You can see, let's see if we can get past him. So that little, see that little area right there, that closet? That's now opened up as well. So we'll go ahead and save real quick on here. But um, yeah, you can go ahead and see, this map is working perfectly fine. So, okay, so we're gonna go back down here on the lava real quick and grab our little invincibility symbol. And then over here, you'll find this. I don't think I went this far on the Doom 2 version, but then, the invisibility and the backpack on that one as well. All right, so going up here and back over this way, we're now invincible, so we can just kind of hop on past this guy. But look, now there's this area in the wall, and I didn't know this was here on the Doom 2 version, but considering it goes to this area where the BFG is, it probably didn't quite work as intended. But you can see this whole area is accessible and functional now, whereas it wasn't on the other version. So let's go back up here, and again, Here's the thing, even the working version of this, it's still kind of a crappy map, not gonna lie, just because it's so very basic. Um, man, I'm bad at this. But, oh dang, that didn't do much, uh, that didn't give me much ammo to go on, did it? All right, so let's run over here. Again, no, it, no issues this time. Okay. All right, now, go ahead and get him with the BFG a couple of times. Take care of him. Okay. All right, so he's down, right? So let's go down here and look. No texture issues. None at all. Now there's no chain gunner this time because this is Doom 1. But look, here's the exit. Fully functional. Fully stinking functional. The map works. Now that's it. It's a, Again, it's a pretty short map, but it works. Now here's the crazy part of all of this. This map was so broken by ID Software converting it from Doom 1 to Doom 2, that it became the most well-known video about their Maximum Doom collection. What, 25 years after the fact? And that's crazy. Because, really, the fact that they had converted this from Doom 1 to Doom 2 doesn't make sense in the first place anyway. If we'll go, hold up, we'll go ahead and go through the exit here. 
If you go into the Maximum Doom folder, you can see there's a section for Doom 1 maps. Now you can see it exits as intended. There's a section for Doom 1 maps and a section for Doom 2 maps. Now, so there's there were already Doom 1 maps within this collection. Here you go. Here's Maximum Doom. Right? Doom 1. Here's your Doom 1 wads. And then here's Doom 2. Here's your Doom 2 wads. A ton, and I do mean a ton, of Doom 1 wads were converted over to Doom 2 for this collection. But why? When you're already including Doom 1 levels in it anyway, why convert them over? Why not just include them in the Doom 1 section and include the regular base Doom 2 ones in the Doom 2 section? Because when you start converting crap, stuff breaks. And a lot of stuff. Not only do you have to worry about monsters being converted over to areas where they don't quite fit for the design of the map, but then you have awful cases where this happens. And yet, this is the most famous example of ID Software's conversion messing everything up, but there's plenty, plenty more in here. I mean, I am doing a walkthrough of this series, and I have seen other times when they've just totally <laughs> messed crap up. Like, really, really badly. So... I don't even quite know what to say at this point. The whole fact that these levels were converted is completely ridiculous because it just makes issues like this. And again, this is the most famous example, but there's more like this. All of these should have just been stuck in the Doom 1 folder and the regular Doom 2 folder should have had the non-converted stuff. It probably would be a lot more smaller, but hey, quality over quantity. That's what I would say. And uh, that's probably the opposite of what the creators of this would say. But yeah, guys, that's my video on this. I wanted to clear up this mystery once and for all. So yeah, that broken level, you can find it in this wad. This is the working wad that it is based on. So I hope you found the video entertaining. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe as I am doing my own walkthrough of Maximum Doom. Going to be the second person to ever do it after Tarnsman and uh, the first YouTuber to ever actually do a full walkthrough of this on their channel. So, thank you again for watching. Please like this if you enjoyed it. If not, that's okay too. Till next time, I've been your host, Cass Gaming. And I'll see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I, I,